She said, when Arthur says something, I have to be so sensitive that I can feel it like a speck of dust would fall on my skin. She responded so marvelously to Arthur and to her own sense because the, she came from the same part of the Bronx that I had come from, but about 15 years later. And there's something about the rhythms of that character. So they were in her as much as they were in me, so it was a very happy concatenation of talents. And while we're on the road with Seesaw, I said to her, I have another play there. There's a miracle work. I've written one act of it. I'll finish it when I come back. Would you like to do the lead in it? She said, sure, I'm with you, or something like that. Arthur and Fred didn't like this idea very much that I had ventured to offer the part without even consulting them. And it never, never occurred to me that I should have consulted them. But then but they didn't know what the full play was going to be of The Miracle Worker anyway. And when we got to finally produce The Miracle Worker, Annie was still playing Seesaw. I mean, she had played it like for a year and a half, and now I had the play, and, we, and, and she was ready to go into it. And she left Seesaw and went directly into rehearsals for The Miracle Worker. And she played Annie Sullivan as though she were Gittle. And I said to Arthur, I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> and he said, I'll fix it. So he gave her an Irish accent, a brogue, which Annie Sullivan did not have. Annie Sullivan could do a brogue. There are documents of Nella's which were, Nella repeats what Annie Sullivan had told her in, in Annie, uh, Annie was talking about what life was like in Tewkesbury, which was mainly an Irish Catholic institute by this time. An awful lot of Irish had come to Massachusetts working in the tobacco fields and so on. And the, and when they were derelict, they ended up at Tewkesbury. So a lot of this stuff that Annie was reporting was in brogue. So I know she could, because Nella was putting it down, but Annie did not have a brogue. But all over the world, Annie Sullivan has had a brogue ever since because Arthur was trying to get rid of Gittle in Annie Bancroft. <laughs>